Planet Nomads. I have no idea what this game is really gonna be like. I picked this game up a while ago, it was on sale, I thought it was looking kinda cool, I kinda wanted a game, you know, building, open world, survival, that kinda thing, and this was a match, and it's kinda cool, like, you, you're building like crazy stuff, spaceship-like things, except I think you're maybe confined to a planet. I think the premise is, is that basically you are going to wander the planet like a planet nomad but you have to build your base and kind of always bring it with you although here that's definitely not a mobile base so I don't know maybe it's just base building and stuff like that I figured it, it was kind of like it was as if space engineers and scrap mechanic had a baby and then that baby had another baby with space engineers again, and then you had planet nomads. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, it definitely has a huge amount of space engineers in it, uh, or at least influence in it, but... Uh, oh, look at that! It's like a... it's a monorail! That That is totally... Well, you could, you could build that in scrap mechanic of space engineers, but... Whoa! That is definitely a non-functional sail. But it's cool. Okay, here we go. In 2065, mankind discovered unknown technology that enabled interstellar travel. Humans were finally able to explore the nearest stars. You forgot the. Years later, scientists received a strange, inexplicable signals from the constellation Eridanus. Research suggested existence of nearby exoplanets possibly capable of sustaining organic life. In 2087, commercial vessel Anita enters Eridanus system Ah, oh, no, wait, stop! However, destructive anomalies damage the ship and survivors are forced to escape. Ah, A corporation doesn't get to pillage a planet. How sad. Hibernation recovery complete. Ooh, that sounds Welcome wonderful. Welcome back. My name is Joy and I am your AI advisor <laughs> integrated within your An AI suit. AI advisor named Joy. Yeah. Please leave the stasis chamber. Yes, I, I can see how joyful you are about this. Okay. E. Thank you. I can walk around. An energy surge of unknown slowly. origin has shut down the Whoa. ship's stabilizers. Really? Okay. Oh, I've come into, uh, wait, should I quicken my mouse? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, the movements are pretty weird here. Crouch under. See? What? Who crouches by pressing left control? Why not the crouch button? Okay, I can stand up again and You are the exploded. only successfully cool. awakened technician on board with the necessary qualifications. Oh yes, because I'm the only one playing. The damaged stabilizers must be repaired immediately to prevent the ship's uncontrolled descent into the atmosphere. We're crashing into a planet? You didn't say that before. Okay, uh, hold spacebar. Huffu, I have a jetpack, that's cool. Come on, jetpack. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I've switched out of person. I've come out of character. I have an OBE when I knock my face into something. Uh, T to equip the multi-tool. Ooh, look at that multi-tool. That is fantastic. Break down the debris with the right mouse button and continue. Ah! Did I get it? It hasn't done a single thing. Should I, should I do something like that? Uh, what? <laughs> Look how skilled I am. I've... Oh, no, that's just debris. The debris have left. No, oh, this is this isn't a uh, this isn't a uh, a laser cutter or whatever it is. It's a vacuum cleaner. Repair the doors. Left mouse button. Okay. Hey, look at that. It's it's also a magic wand. Holster the multi tool. That's what I like. Oh. Holstering it opens the door. Oh, oh, I've been killed! I have detected multiple injuries. Yeah, thanks. Please uh, continue to the nearby infirmary. F, I can. I, can, I can't. Oh, F! No, it doesn't. It doesn't turn my light off. 
Go through the tunnel. I've gone through it. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh. Ah. Flashing lights. Some terrariums and blood on my face. Switch. Oh, I did. I tried that before. You wouldn't let me. Ooh, somebody's been working on a new ship over here, a new rover. Oh, look at the suspension. I like that. It's much better suspension than Space Engineers. Yeah, that's kind of cool. What is that? Somebody's working on stuff. This is as fast as I can walk. Oh, I can see myself now. I have a very funny shaped chest. My sternum is very large. Hey, hold on, let me do a sound check to make sure things are okay. Alright, it seems okay. Turn the music down a bit just because I'm worried about it. And then I switched to um, Surround 5.0 and then the music stopped. Take bandages. I think I will. Thank you for those bandages. E, okay, E. Oh, oh okay, I gotta do the little circle thing. Your biometrics in the left of our visor show you are hurt. Well, I can I can feel I'm hurt. My fingers are missing. To fix this, open the inventory. Ah, yes, I just open myself up. Drag and drop the bandages from my inventory onto my blown off toes. To use the bandages. Life function stabilized. Oh, good, good. You know, everything works better with a bandage. To leave the infirmary, use the maintenance shaft at the end of the room. Oh, well, I've come to the infirmary. Uh, how about that? On my way to the infirmary, I get destroyed. And then it's all okay, because I just continue on to the infirmary. Everything's good. All of these people that didn't make it. Wow, look at that. They're so injured. They've been incinerated or disintegrated or... Uh, teleported straight into space. Who knows? I can go. Wait, how do I go down? Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, the, the crouch button, which isn't the crouch button. Oh, another every, at 63%. every time I touch anything, something Electrical explodes. Electrical grid overloaded. Oh, okay. Continue by connecting the door. Okay. Oh, I just clicked on it. Yes, yes. It's very much like Space Engineers B. Okay. That's a compact battery pack. That's all that I have. That's all that I know how to make in my life are battery packs. Yes, give me my tool. Spray it. There we go. Okay, I need to, yes, see that. I need to, what, hook this up to uh, uh, the electricity. There we go. Alright, so when you build a battery, it automatically comes fully charged. Open a container and take out the uranium. Is that, uh... Well, that's not what I would normally do. According to available records, okay. the ship's propulsion system started deteriorating after it reached the planet's orbit and eventually all control over its movement was lost. Individual systems gradually failed and the integrity of the hull was damaged in the front section of the ship. Well, thank you for that joyful the message, The last record Joy. from the black box indicates that the captain attempted an unsuccessful manual course correction. Then the captain separated the cargo and colonization parts of the ship to protect them from the imminent explosion of the bridge. Thank you, Captain, for loosing the people and your cargo before exploding. Go to the workshop in the next room. All right, it's a nice tutorial. Uh, you know, like fix the ship enough and get off to s and survive and that's the tutorial yeah that's a good it's a good tutorial actually some of the things are a bit obvious like oh it exploded and <laughs> oh i have to keep moving this way you know it's but uh, it's a tutorial kind of built in right so uh this vehicle needs a cockpit wow that's what she said the components can be made in a 3d printer oh Geez, I don't have a 3D printer. I just have a regular one. It's like a cannon. It's it's absolute crap. I can't even hook up a USB to it. All I want is to do uh, is hook up a USB to the printer and the scanner so that I can scan things. But I can't. It doesn't take a USB. Oh, I see. Oh, this vehicle. Ah, I see. Yes, there is a piece that seems to be missing on it. Right. Yeah, okay. So we'll drive our uh, vehicle 
off the edge of the ship and eventually be pulled by gravity into the planet. And uh, we shall uh, be on our new planet with our new wheels. That'd be epic. Okay. Um, open. Do you have a cockpit in you? All the required materials are already in the printer. Ah, someone was about to click. Print me a cockpit. But then they either exploded or ran off, I guess. Okay, um... Release the vehicle by cutting the block that it's ho that's holding it. Is there a block holding it, really? Who would... Oh, there's a... Let it go! Let it go! It swings limply from the ceiling. Drive all the way to the end of the tunnel. Here we come! Planet! The Anita is carrying the active crew and exactly 10,000 colonists to their new home. Ooh, wow, look at this The place. objective of this expedition is to establish a research and mining colony. Uh -huh. The Everybody main goal of the Congenia mining. Technological Consortium is to establish a self-sufficient community and a safe trade route back to Earth. Okay, sounds decent enough. Economy, get back to planet. Get back home. What? <laughs> uh, right, it's definitely a tutorial, right? I mean, how convenient is that, right? And, and drive down the tunnel, and I could have walked down here by the time. <laughs> I could have just used my jetpack and hovered myself down the short tunnel. All right, yes. Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aha, but I'm going to be smart about this. Watch this. I'm going to... I'm gonna rob it of its parts, yes. Look at all this stuff I could use. Uh, correction. I cannot... I cannot... I cannot take anything else other than the cockpit. Okay. Open the doors. Okay, here we go. Um, I don't know what... Uh, I guess... I don't know what this is for, but I need that. That's okay. Ship scans show Plenty that the main left. stabilizing generators were put out of commission by an energy wave of extraterrestrial origin. The epicenter of this wave is located directly on the planet's surface. Then that would not be extraterrestrial, that would be terrestrial if it's located on the surface. And we're not, definitely not on Earth. It's pretty much anything if you're considering everything else extraterrestrial. That's, that's every, that's... Basically everything in the universe is extraterrestrial. Okay, what do I gotta do? Go to the damage generator. Yeah, I'm having trouble remembering. I can do that. Oh, I got it. Oh, now this thing's highlighted. Here? Oh, okay. Backup generators offline. Did Please insert had, fuel um... cells. Oh, now, uh, now I can open it. Aha, <laughs> I was ahead of you. And uh, yeah, yeah, I saw these in there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's definitely in tutorial mode. You can't do anything without it, like, actually telling you to do it. Okay, fill the generator. You need some of those, right? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Control. Ooh! Have ten, and I'm gonna keep the rest. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm, I'm using the uh, same generator. I think it means that I should come over here and... Ship stabilizers oh, okay, online. There it is. There it is. Uncontrolled descent terminated. Flight path optimized. Oh, good. Close the generator. Okay, well, I can do Radiation levels increasing. Oh dear. Please leave the area. Okay, I need to probably carefully get out of here. Ugh. Oh, that jetpack is hard. Radiation levels normal. Oh, okay, good. Unable to establish connection with the main computer. Mm to receive mission update, you will have to link to the main AI core manually. Oh, I don't like AI. Please proceed to the rear of the ship. Where's that? Oh, through the door. Oh, it's just exploded. The rear, the whole ass of the ship, ship is gone. Damaged. Your suit is not designed for vacuum conditions. Oh, well, I have a the vacuum in my hand, The hermetically sealed door cannot be opened because of safety protocols. Unable to find an alternative route. The surrounding rooms are hermetically sealed. Well, it would have to be. Safety We're in a protocol vacuum. failing. Wow. Door safety lock damaged. Uh, okay. Decompression of this section is imminent. Okay. To continue the mission, 
You must leave the ship. Oh, okay. Please use an escape pod. An escape pod. Warning. Oxygen escape levels pod launched. Okay, we're we're doing good. It's all fine. Oh, my health has declined to sixty percent. I'm gonna build a giant ship with a cannon, generating world, generating objects. Well, I'm generating, leaving active blocks or something. I hope I get to keep my inventory because I stole a few things. Impacting onto an extraterrestrial terrestrial world. Oh, I've blacked out, of course. That's a lot of G-force when you smack into a rock at full speed. Find a lost crew from Anita. Sensors detected a signal of survivors at approximate location 600 meter radius. And to collect important data about survivors. What? Because they're calling them survivors, so they must be alive. Because they must have survived if they are a survivor. If they're dead, they're not survivors. Well, I don't know what it means by at the location. Okay. Um, what is the location? How do I get out of here? Press E. Oh, whoa! Well, damn. Oh, is this the location? Before exploring or building a shelter, locate and open the emergency container. It should be somewhere around... Well, it is. It's right here. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh it did take my inventory. What a ripoff, man. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, I'm getting parts. Yes. Your biometrics in the left show you are hungry and thirsty. To fix this... Oh, okay. Well, hope... hold on. I'm going to uh, delete some more things. Haha! Just uh, give it a few melee attacks. Ooh! Oh, I can like terraform by, you know, doing this. It's this is like yeah, it's a multi-tool. Unlike space engineers, where you need several different tools for these tasks, you only need one multi-tool. Oh, is that used? Ah, use. Okay, use. You are in a well-fed state. Oh, uh, okay. Good. Take a pill. I'm not hungry anymore. The magic of chemicals. I shall alter my body's natural course with the chemicals from a corporation for not my own benefit, but someone I've never met. To get a chance of survival on foot, you need to build a basic shelter. Okay, and resource from resource you are mine. All right, so it's saying I need to like build a shelter-ish. I need to basically. My sensors show Ooh. you are slightly thirsty. What? Do they have a pill for that? Um, I need to build a, a printer first, basically, because I can't really build anything without a printer, because the, print, the printer prints components, and in order to build basically anything, I need components to build it. There's like a German saucer 500 meters away or something. Oh, there's a toilet over there. That's, or is that my crash, is that my crash ship? It is my crash ship. Oh, oh, that's... Wait, so if I hit you... Oh, okay, so yeah, 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 that, uh, that, I can't do that indefinitely like in the, uh, thing. And position of all POIs, prisoners of impact on the planet. You can build a radar to map your surroundings and discover more prisoners of impact. Okay, what about this? Oh, I got carbon and iron. Or how about if I do this? Oh, okay, that just deletes it. Right. Oh, what is that for? Ooh, that builds a big hole, whereas left click does a small hole. Right, so I need to not use the right click unless I really want it. To be honest, I, I kind of like this game. You know, it, it seems a bit simple and it's a bit of a ripoff of uh, Space Engineers for now. You know, and, and, the, and the graphics and everything, the quality of things is just not, um... Well, actually, it's not very good in Space Engineers either. <laughs> it's about this good, actually, in Space Engineers. Actually, this might even be better than Space Engineers, you know, because... But it is more focused to be on a planet, on a, one specific planet. I don't know if you go into space in this game. Oh, look at that! That's cool! You got, like, this color effect from, like, the, from, like, the bloom of the local star, whatever it is. I can't remember. But you know what? So far... I haven't seen anything in the game that I don't like. 
Whoa! <laughs> I've chopped the tree down! Oh, there it goes! Oh, the leaves have come off! Oh, there, okay, there it goes! Aha! See, I told you it was a bit like a uh, scrap mechanic. What was it? Like, what was it about... Because actually, when I first read the description of this game, I thought a lot more about scrap mechanic than I did space engineers. And then I was like, after after some minutes, I was like, oh wait, this is quite a lot like space engineers. Oh, it's gone. Okay, so there's one log. Actually, this tree right now, that's reminding me of Medieval Dynasty. Oh, there it goes. Okay, uh, right, so I need to find, look, I, I need to look at uh, the, my map to see the position of Prisoners of Impact. Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah, that's a whole world. The map is a, is a globe, yeah. Um, I don't know how big it is. You know what, it's actually not very big, because... Alien wreck, oh! Oh, those aren't Germans, those are aliens, okay. They've been shopping in the Schwabenland. Monument Tartarus, oh, that's an interesting name. Man-made wreck? A, a man-made wreck? <laughs> Another one, okay. An escape pod, yeah, there. <laughs> I gotta pee, I gotta pee, and you head right for the escape pod, yeah. That's what we should call porta potties yeah. porta potties who likes the sound of that? Call it an escape pod. Help windows via F1 through F5? F1? Oh, okay, that it just takes you directly, um... Ooh, cool. Okay, cool. That's nice, that's a nice menu. Um, all right, so from this sector, uh, maybe the middle of this sector to approximately the middle of this sector is 1.5 kilometers. So it's a spherical map. It isn't very big though, but still, that's pretty cool, yeah. I don't know how, you know, how far 1.5 kilometers actually feels in this game. It's getting dark, I think. Yeah, definitely. Shall I chase the sun in this game? Maybe the planet is literally, if I don't want to record or to play the game in the dark at night, all I gotta do is chase the sun. I can just keep going around the world. That's cool. All right, there's nothing really over there that I want. I could go investigate the alien shipwreck, or is it, is it a ship or is it a wreck? You know what, I should probably get started on survival stuff. You know, normally I'd go, oh, I want a base location, where should I build a base? But this isn't Ark. I have no idea how to survive, so I better get started. Everybody, oh dear, what is that? Oh, it's buzzing! Maybe not on that hill. Okay, that, uh, yeah, had flying noises. I didn't like that. Should I? Oh, no! I'm becoming dehydrated, which can seriously affect me. Indeed. Oh, you just walk up to something and it just bursts. Uh, it's my story of my life on the spaceship. Everywhere I went, something exploded. Scout around to locate water body. Oh, okay, yeah. In lowlands, you may find water underground as well. Okay, that's good. That's a good point. If I'm gonna find a base location, I should find it by water. Where could that be? I have no idea. I'm gonna find some water, find some location here. Well, this looks a bit promising. I've been wandering, or wandering around just for a short while. Found this. Does that? Is that a stream? Ooh, what is that? What is that? Oh, those are creatures. They're not moving at all. Oh, no! You've been poisoned. I've been poisoned, I guess. Um, okay, auto run ability isn't very helpful. Ooh, there's something else. Don't poison. No poison. I don't have a weapon. Oh, look at the crazy forest here. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, there's some, oh! They are moving at all. Nothing moves. But there's definitely, yeah, like, space engineers, which I actually enjoyed quite, oh, that guy's moving. Oh, he doesn't look too bad when he moves. It's like a cow, maybe they're okay. Oh, it's got teats, I can see, wait, or is that his face? That's its face. 
That's like scrap mechanic teats on the face, man. Ah, uh, is this a good place to build a base? There's all this stuff around. I got a jetpack. Oh, that's a big one. Is that a big one? Damn, what the bloody... F it's not... It doesn't appear to be fast. This, this multi-tool doesn't do damage, does it? But he looks friendly, it's kind of cute, you know? Mm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, I don't know what that meant, but it probably went back, you fool. Stay away. No closer shall you proceed. Yeah, roughly translated. Christian level dropping. Oh dear. All right, well, there is an alien ship of some kind up this hill there. It's not far away at all. Should I approach? I mean, maybe there's useful things there. Can't find any water. It's almost morning. You know what? And I've almost bought No Man's Sky a few times when it was on sale. You know, it goes on sale like 60, 50% off sometimes. And oh, there it is. Is there any danger here? Well, it looks like it's out of destiny. It's a space ball. Dehydration level critical. Oh. You're becoming tired. Okay, what's that? Uh, open. Any water? <laughs> An address book, a power cell, a pure crystal. All right, well, there's some storage. Actually, my storage is full. All right, you hang on to that, whatever it is. And what? I popped out of body again at the sight of this thing. <laughs> Can I just, you know, I doubt it. Uh, emergency 3D printer, that's exactly what I need to build. All right, hot bar, okay, maybe nine. This is gonna be hot. All right, well, how about you go right there, little printer? Yes, that's very calm. Oh, no, I've hit auto run. It's more like an auto walk, but. Ah, oh, here we go, solar beacon, reinforced wall. Why not? Okay, do they snap together? Jeez, man, I just need water. I don't know what to do about water. It said I can filter dirty water, but I don't even have that. My water is killing me now. What can I do about water? What do I do, people? What do I do? I'm gonna die here. Is there a water bush? Do I squeeze those guys for water? Oh, oh, in the daytime, I can see water right down there. You can either rest in a sleeping bag or in the escape pod. Oh, well, I don't have an escape pod, uh, but I have a sleeping bag. I just need water. Okay, I'm gonna, while that's crafting my stuff, I'm gonna go down here and I can't run. I gotta get to the water and probably go ahead and build the base right down here. All right, very nearly there. I got six seconds or something before I run out of water. Turn the music off because it was, you know, it's very repetitive and it's kind of techno stuff. Just background, like techno elevator music. I just don't like it. Oh, I'm getting dirty water. No, this is dirty. Oh, now I gotta purify it somehow. Yeah, that's even that's a, even that is like uh, space engineers where you gotta build something and it kind of unlocks the next bits. But isn't that, like, that's a bit how Starbase works, isn't it, too? You know, Starbase? Tried that for a little while. Um, right. Yeah, dirty water, man. It's all I got to drink. Oh, I have purified water. <laughs> it's right there in my inventory. No way. My sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Okay. Oh, I can't drink again. Oh, it's got a cool down. What? Can be toxic in high doses. Oh, okay, so I can drink dirty water. Okay, now this auto run button really makes sense. <laughs> okay, I have these now. I got the power. Can I build this and unlock other things? Yes, oh, unlocked cabinet. Unlocked uh, new objective printer 2.0, data pad. Um, there were so many things on the screen right then. <laughs> Yeah, to to build a vehicle, the first thing you gotta do is place a jack on the ground. <laughs> I told you, this is like space engineers mixed with scrap mechanic. There's no cows in space engineers, cows everywhere here. And they got tits on the face. At least some of them do.
The weird one. The weird ones. Build. Okay, I have more stuff to build. That's good. Oh dear. All of those foundations need plating. This plating mark one, which needs iron. Is four iron? Four iron for that. Are you joking? Iron is such a grind. No. Is there iron over here? No, I think I took it out. I just, I just got to sleep. I can't even run. Okay, sleeping bag. Right there. Zero. Sleep to replenish. Oh, okay. I can just, I can just do it. You're becoming tired. Um, <laughs> well, I should. I'm going to sleep. It'd be helpful if ah, oh, how can I sleep in this storm? What the bloody hell? I'm getting hit by lightning. Wait. Ooh, that echo. It just rolls on and on. I don't know if you can hear that as well as I can in my headphones. Okay, yeah, I right, I see. It's kind of uh, near evening now. Don't know what that was all about. Okay, iron. I need iron like crazy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I made a big hole in the ground. Well, that's a bit steep. Okay, so the rocks on the surface do not give me much iron at all. And... I wish I could make that a bit smoother. The rocks on the surface, yeah, hardly give anything at all. And um, it's not like where I started, where there was, you know, kind of like nodes of stuff that did give you stuff pretty much everywhere. I looked around here, and <laughs> there was hardly any of that, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm getting a bit of, uh... Oh, I'm getting iron here, okay. Okay, when it gives you that circle, it gives you stuff. And the best way to do that is to just keep aiming in one direction. Otherwise, if you move, you might erase that by hollowing out another section where you don't get anything. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more if I don't move. Okay, well, I have made a giant hole in the ground. All right, update time. Uh, this area seems to have a lot of storms. Uh, it always seems to be raining and you get the wind effect and sometimes lightning which you can even see in the sky um i've been building a base here trying to uh let's see uh, it's just iron is at a premium gotta go out all the time and get some iron i got 70. um i've been digging down sometimes to get iron let's say i'm out of uh i'm low on nutrition so i can't run anymore again uh, so yeah, yeah, I've been digging down and uh, yeah, I've been seeing this blue rock here. It gives me a lot of silicon and carbon, but I'm close to, I'm down in a valley with a lake. So there's the water table. So I'm hitting the water table there. Dug another pit over there. That one had kind of like that kind of irony instead of that blue, it had like a gold texture to it. And so that was giving me a lot of iron. So you can get iron that way, but eventually you just reach the water table. And, uh, yeah. So, I built myself a little beacon here. This is, uh, it has a light and it's got a solar panel on it. It just provides a light and a beacon point. So that's, uh, A right there. Let's see, I really wanted to build six, so maybe I can build that now. How about right to, hmm. Yeah, uh, right to there. It's probably good. T... Sweet. Okay, got a storage. Nice. Why don't you hold some dirty water? Why don't you hold, I don't know, biomass containers? Don't know what they do. A seed. I got one more purified water left. I don't have any more nutrition pills. Uh, what's that mean? This container is full. All right, fine. That's okay. That's okay. Get me that. And, uh, oh, and get me that. Yeah. Let's see, if you do this, it it also constructs it maybe a little bit faster if you do just kind of click it like that. I don't know. Got one mechanical part. I can't put that in there. Okay. Can you get me some more plating? And I'm out of iron again. Yay! I gotta rest. Okay, let me rest. Yes, that'll probably take me back into the night again. Low nutrition, sleep interrupted. Oh, I can't sleep. I don't have nutritional nutrition for it. I gotta go get some iron. Do you give any iron at all? You are nearing exhaustion. Nutrition level critically low. 
All right, I'm really tired, but I can't sleep because I don't have any nutrition. I don't have any nutrition because I don't know how to get it. And I'm really thirsty because I still don't know how to get clean water. Things are looking good, I gotta say though. Oh, the rain and the wind is really loud in my headphones. But I got some more base building stuff. None of this is gonna help me with nutrition. Energy, that's all I can Dehydration do. Dehydration level critical. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to drink some. Oh wait, I, I, I have purified water, okay. At least that's good. Bandages, nothing else, nothing else. <laughs> all right. What in the world do I do about food? I have no idea. How about this? Uh, I'm gonna get some food this way. I'm mining it. I got fruitage. Fruitage, eat it. That hardly gave me anything. It's storming again. I just got seeds to grow in a greenhouse, but I can't even make a greenhouse yet. Now what do I do for food? Well, I think that'll be the end of the episode. I'll just uh, die and put my stuff in my base. My health is going down very slowly. I don't know what to do. Where did, did I lay down and sleep myself to death? My sensors show you, you are slightly tired. <laughs> oh no, I've woken up to another storm. Oh, but I have a tiny bit of energy, but now finally... I can actually walk. Um, okay, well, at least I can. I cannot run, but um, we'll, have to, we'll have to try to get one of these cows. Maybe I can get a cow. They don't seem to run very fast, so let's get a little, a little one over here. That is not a cow. Whatever it is. It's running away. Can I use this one? I don't know if any of this is good or bad. It's very slow. Oh, the other ones are just hanging around. Oh, it's pushing that one away. <laughs> oh, oh, what is coming? Oh, there's a strange plant here, but I haven't been injured yet. Oh, I can gather it. Carbon and silicon? Wait, legit? Okay. Where'd you go, cow? All right, cow, come on. It's either you or me. Ooh, he's getting char marks all over him. This is not a pretty picture. But what do you do for survival? I am ravenous. I'm like a wild cow myself. Oh, there he is. I got a cow. Loot. Loot. His head is going crazy. I got raw meat. I got raw meat. Oh, I've dug him a hole to bury him. That's it. Okay, I got raw meat. Unprocessed, highly toxic meat that gives me 20 food and 5 water. Oh, what do I do now? I don't know how to cook meat. I don't have like, you know, there isn't... Oh, full armor block. Well, I haven't seen that before. Oh, tech tree. A tech tree. Stairs, railings, outer corner, ceiling, armor kit. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. So this stuff that I really need for survival... Oh, it's locked by a quest! I should be following the quest. I shouldn't be building a surviving survival base. I have to do a quest. No! Oh, I was wondering if I should have maybe followed it. Maybe it would have lead, led me to, like, food or something like that. Because I didn't know food would be a problem. I thought you'd just, you know... You just get it from the land or something. You do, but it's all very tiny and poisonous. Ah. Oh. All right, fine. Well, I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna die, and I'll go and follow the quest, I guess. In the next episode. Anyways, the game is interesting. It's not maybe you know triple A game, that's for sure. But it's definitely mo the most interesting unknown or forgotten game I've played yet. Hopefully it's not another Outpost Zero, um, which is uh, definitely an unfinished feeling game. Dehydration level critical. But this game has a lot of what I like, which is like building and engineering stuff. So that'll be good. I'm gonna continue on with the second episode. So stay tuned, hit the like button, 
uh, sorry, slap that like button right in the booty, let it jiggle around for you, whatever you like, you know, how, however much as you like, and I shall go and uh, choose my final resting place and probably respawn at a drop pod. Who knows what'll happen? I'll tell you in the next episode. <laughs> So I'll definitely see you then because I'd love to have you join me for this adventure. I, I, I like adventures. I like adventurous games and that's what we're doing. So adios. Goodbye.